Lisbon, Portugal, here we are. And then she but realized. He answered, <laughs> answered, so now we think he thinks we're in trouble. I just took the best nap. Totally slept the top off. Came to and I was like, where am I? The unplannedness of our day. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Hi. Hi. This is d our f day two in Portugal, Lisbon. Our first very full, full day, but this is day two. Woo. This is what our hotel looks like. Our little open door over our window over there. It's so fresh and good smelly. We can hear the train. Okay, that's the train station right there, the red building. We can hear the trains through the night. Not that the trains were going, but the people. Oh, there we go. But the like the announcements and all that stuff, we can hear. There's a little Coca-Cola sitting on the ledge that's part of our hotel. I'm not gonna shine the light on me yet because I'm just waking up. But we're gonna go have breakfast and we have a huge day planned, so I'm very excited. I could sleep for another 10 hours, although I already did sleep for 11 hours. But Lisbon, Portugal, here we are. This is what our room looks like right now. It's a little bit of a disaster. <laughs> We've definitely made ourselves at home. But it's time to go to breakfast, and I hope that it's still breakfasting. Do you think it's still breakfasting? Yeah, breakfast comes at 11. Oh, is that right? Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, you were a good pair of attention, Katie. Well, I've been such a good pair of attention recently. Oh, that makes me very proud of you. Right, I'm going to show you my outfit. Not that it's fancy or anything, but this is my breakfast outfit. I've got my white shoes, my white shorts, and my little ruffle shirt. What's your fit check for breakfast, Katie? My sandals. Cute new shorts you just got in Wisconsin and your little thrifted green shirt. I love it. I am hungry, I don't mind telling you. Listen to what? Listen to the train. Listen to the train. Listen to the train. Here it comes. mean so, so mean apparently last night there was a bit of a an orchestra going on according to Katie it was a symphony <laughs> uh, there was a conductor and, and whatnot <laughs> uh, Mike tells me I snore I didn't actually I believe it train okay well let's go let's here let me bring my, my purse that has all the information in it and we'll figure it out Okay. This is my purse. And we're going to breakfast. We'll show you guys it's a buffet, so I'm pretty excited about uh, it. Mm -hmm. so we're going to stuff our faces because we probably won't eat lunch. We probably... Oh, oh we will. But... Some or not, so I'm not stinky. Oh, good call. Oh my gosh, open arms. This is the restaurant of our hotel. Oh my gosh, it's such a great place. Can we go outside or is it just for sure? I might be going crazy, I don't know what to do. My heart is screaming for you, babe. What I'm trying to say is that you make the sky look blue Even when it is gray, babe Every time I'm feeling down You can make it go away Your light is shining bright on me Oh, you think? <laughs> my body always slipped came up on my bad side Cheers I have pineapple juice I just came back to okay. I got up off the table to go get some butter for my croissant. I come back and Katie's on the phone. I said, who are you talking to? She goes, dad. I go, Katie, it's the middle of the night. Do you understand? It's What time is it here right now? 9.45. So do you know what time it is there? It's minus 5. It's 4.45 in the morning. So then she hangs up. And then she but he realized. Answered her <laughs> he answered, so now we think he thinks we're in trouble. No, no, I call him back. All right, so she calls him back. And He's like, "Are you okay?" <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to talk. 
She's like, I, I, didn't, I forgot it was the middle of the night until mom reminded me it was the middle of the night. She wanted to talk, I think, probably. I wanted to see the mouth of the It's to know. Oh, <coughs> oh boy. Yeah, we are. All right, you guys, so we are headed to the beach now. We are out in front of our hotel. We called an Uber, and the nice gentleman at the front, the bellman, so helped us. He's amazing. He's the guy that helped us yesterday when we came in. So we're kind of like flying by the seat of our pants because we're not exactly sure how we're going to get back from the beach, and it's in a secluded area. She doesn't see it. Well, seriously. Right? This is an adventure. Know, we have we no have idea like, how it's going to happen. Okay, why are we waiting? <laughs> because she wasn't sure if it was us. Yeah, you can make it go away. Can't stop looking at you. You're like a firefly. Guide me out of the woods now. Oh, I think I lost my way, but got you to help me back. Tell me what I should do now. Every time I'm feeling down, you can make it go away. Your light is shining bright on me. Got no reason to be afraid. All right, and now we're walking to the beach. Kate, turn around so I can see how pretty you are. There she is. All right, so we just took our Uber and it drove us an hour outside of Lisbon. We've heard that this beach is beautiful. It's in a national park and the cars aren't allowed to go all the way down. So the Uber brought us to here and now we're walking and there's people in front of us, people behind us. There's little tuk-tuks that you can rent for $3 and they'll drive you down. Or three I feel like euros. Might not be called a tuk-tuk. No, it is. And I think you just like saying. It's a T-U-K, T-U-K, I promise you. Wow. Okay, the drive down here. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys were able to really get an idea of my video because Katie was sitting yeah, on the time. good side. Every time she looked at her camera, it was like trees. It would It'd be, be like this gorgeous vista. And, then and the like water. Just... And then I would take out my phone and boom, trees. Which trees are pretty, but not as pretty as the water that we saw. So I don't know how long this walk is, but we're here for it. And then she brought her walking shoes. I did because she, the guy said she insisted that she brought her, brought her walking shoes, which is fine. It's fine. I'm not making fun of you. My feet feel great right now. I, I'm sure, I, I could what? walk for hours. I'm sure they do. And, well, and, like, and, do you, and guess what? And she's wearing my sandals. So do you think that's a VRBL? Like, I guarantee you. you oh. could walk, like, I, All right. We think we want to um, not move to Portugal, but we <laughs> think we'd like to have. A second house in Portugal, a third right. house, right. something like that. Right. However that goes. Right. Oh, hey, how come you can drive down here? That sounded. I think they can, but I think you have to purchase. But, a oh, right, park, right, 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 right. Like a a national that... park pass. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Okay. That's All right, here we go, you guys. Stay yeah, with yes. us. And was it the guy, um, our bellman guy at the hotel? He's so sweet. He's awesome. He's so awesome. This looks like um, the. Animal Red Kingdom. Rock. Oh, he does look like the Animal Kingdom. Yeah, we're the we're the um, the elephants. Dude, we had to go buy all that stuff. Like we didn't, we definitely didn't know that this is what we're gonna do. Anyway, this is we're going you out in, in the Grand. <laughs> no, I I didn't even tell, tell my story yet. Well, Sorry. I know. Thanks for nothing. Uh, where was I? I don't even know what I was. Oh, and he was saying that when people go to the beaches in Portugal. Oh, sorry, in Lisbon. He's like, people go to the beach in Lisbon. They're like, okay, that's not a beach, he said. You have to go down to south to this one. And so we are. Oh, look at how pretty. Okay, and then I'll stop so until we get there. That is gorgeous. We found water. Wahoo. This is a museum that's halfway down. Or I guess it's halfway down our walk. I'm not sure if we're actually halfway down. We've never been here before. There's people kayaking. Oh my gosh, it is so, so pretty. This view is like ridiculous. So Let's go. Okay. I don't know what city that is over there. Can you see there's like a some type of, I don't know if it's a city or if people are just, oh yeah. If people just live there, maybe it's just, um, Apartments or something. Okay, that's a good one. Okay. Yeah. You know. 
on our walk down look at this is the restaurant the beach is over there this is so cool that's where we came down from oh my gosh i'm loving it i'm just loving it it looks like you can probably stay there we made it to the beach that is the like the where most of the people are down there in that beach but we decided to get in this little private area here so we have this little private i mean there's other people around but it's this little private beach so pretty I just took the best nap, totally slept the top off, came to and I was like, where am I? Yes. And then I woke up, I woke up to Katie. She's sitting in the water, building a sweet little rock tower. So I'm going to show you her rock tower. Give me just a second. Oops. Wait. Look at her. There's her rock tower. Nice work. Thanks. All right, let me take a picture of it. That is amazing. Okay, hold on. Ready? Alright you guys, this is a winery that we came to. It's in this sweet little, sweet little town. And the wine shop is over there. The wine tours are up here. We should get a picture in front of this because we both match. Actually, you match more than I do. We had a wine last night. If you guys didn't watch yesterday's vlog, watch yesterday's vlog. We had a wine last night at this um, wine like restaurant place. yeah it's this great place in me in um lisbon and he recommended this winery and the rosé was spectacular and i just saw it in there i don't think i can bring it home though because we're flying standby and we don't know what flight we're gonna get on so I'm, i would really like to buy it's ten dollars <laughs> crazy talk all right so here we go Oh, we just paid for the English wine tour in, in, in wine tour in English. You're just about to start filming? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go over here. Um, and as it turns out, we are getting a private tour because we're the only two people who are getting the tour. So I don't know how much we're gonna be able to film while we're on it because it's just gonna be the tour guide and Katie and I, but this is so pretty. This is like quintessential what I had anticipated. Like when you think of like a Portugal, I'm gonna go to a winery in Portugal. Yeah, this is it. So I'm very excited. The day is beautiful, all of the gorgeous tile. I have a feeling there's a rich, rich history because look, I'm gonna turn this around. You can see this room and there's a lot of, um, Looks like there's a lot of history in here and it's in that sweet little town that I just showed you. So I do think that it's gonna be quite interesting. And we paid for the tour where we're gonna have four tastings. 
So we get to, I'm definitely going to drink that rosé again. I know I've already had it, but it's so good. So yeah. good. Yeah. I don't mind a bit. Mm -hmm. Hi, Kate. <laughs> Good pat. All right, now that we're in the gardens. Good. It does. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so pretty. All right, what I just showed you wasn't actually the gardens, you guys. This is that's what I showed you. This is the back of the house, yeah, so and. Apparently these are the go oh boy okay this is like I hate to say it but an English garden but I know but it's probably it's a Portuguese garden oh. the colors are beautiful oh looky there All right, you guys, this is the barrel room where they are uh, fermenting wine in mahogany barrels. Look at this one, for example, is 20,000 liters. That's a lot of 20, bottles of wine. 20,600. Oh my gosh. It smells glorious in here. If you were a wine lover, I think you would love it. <laughs> oh, shoot. would be my first time. I'm right. I'm right. Okay. Listen, this is listen, Katie and I trying to figure out if we no, bought listen, a barrel of wine, okay. Okay. how many glasses we would get out of it and how long it would last us. Okay. So drink that. So short this one because they're going to kick us out in 20 minutes. Oh shoot. We've had such an adventure today. So we went to the beach, which is an hour drive from Lisbon, just by taking an Uber. And then after the beach, I mean, you guys have seen this, but after the beach, then we came here, which was about a 20 minute drive back towards Lisbon to the winery and had just a delightful time. So I asked the gentleman um, at the winery, so if you were gonna eat dinner, would you eat here in this town? This town is called, oh shoot, it's not Sintra. I don't remember what this town is called. But I said, would you eat here? Where would you eat? And he said, oh, you need to go to a town called, hold on, he wrote it down, Sisimbra, S-E-S-I-M-B-R-A. He said it's, it's by the beach and it's a fisherman's village and you get great seafood. So we're just gonna jump on an Uber and go to Sisimbra. It's not closer to Lisbon, it's actually a little bit farther away, but um, I feel like it's worth doing. And then we'll go back to Lisbon tonight. So I'm very excited. We're gonna go there. I'm waiting for Katie. She's in the restroom and then she's gonna come back and we'll jump in an Uber and head over there. I adore exploring and um, it's, you know, sometimes we go on trips and it's like, yeah, you wanna make a plan, but sometimes you just don't even have a plan and that's sometimes the best things because you sort of do whatever comes your way. Hey, baby girl. Hey. So the gentleman at the checkout said we should go to a town called Sisimbra. Okay. Because it's a fisherman's village and they have beautiful seafood on the water. So we're doing that. Oh, Are maybe. We well, right sometimes now? you can cork. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it'll work out today. So. I'm maybe not. Okay. I was just telling the vlog. Oh. We shop. We'll wait for our Uber. Maybe. Pop culture store. Glowing in the dark. Glowing in the dark. I feel it in my heart. You're glowing in the dark. All right, we were just dropped off right in the middle of Susembra. 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 Okay, so we're just gonna shop around and we've gotta eat, Katie. We haven't eaten since Did breakfast. We keep we forgetting go. to eat. No, we just said there's lots of restaurants here that it's like a little fishing village, so let's go. I see we're very close to the water. And you guys, we probably shouldn't walk in the middle of the street, but they're beautiful. All the streets are like this. What? Well, not right now, but they can, because look, there's cars parked right there. Okay. When we go... Go where? This backpack does not go with my <laughs> We're basically backpacking. We are. We have totally... Um, what's the word? We've abandoned all plan. Yeah. We're vagabonding our way through. There's a really good song called Vagabond. Is that right? I can't. You should listen to it. Through Portugal. Um, I checked one of our posts and somebody said, you have to go to Sintra. It's my favorite place, which well, is what our plan is tomorrow. I know. How exciting. Oh, look at that. Cool little alley. Let's walk up there. Should we walk up there? Yeah, we should. Okay. 
Okay, so again, we were told that we were coming to a little fishing village, and this is what we're talking about. Like, look at the high. Wow. Talk about fresh fish. You know, it's funny. When we told Ryan we were going to Portugal, he said, there's a lot of fishing in Portugal. He's like, you want to go fishing in Portugal? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Wow. Oh, look at that. Sweet. What's that? That's Those my favorite kind smokes. of shell. It's a gorgeous. It's a conch of some sort. Wow, this is really amazing. All right, you guys. Really like that Katie's vlogging yeah. as well, but we found this beautiful little restaurant. Oh, my phone's dead. I know. I'm sorry. Katie's phone is dead. I know, but I'll take pictures for you. Oh, I'm going to take a picture of this really quick. But Wait, first, we got bread. We got some cheese and dip. So I dip and some kind of butter, which were just adventurous. I don't even know what any of it is. <laughs> Olives. We ordered sangria. And we're we going to have the really sea bass special. We and I know, but. Okay. I mean, that's what I got a lot to learn in like in, a in few, that one week that we planned we, this trip. But. <laughs> and we got fish soup. Keith getting um, cream of can I just shellfish can I just, soup, and I'm getting uh, clams. This is so delightful. I'm gonna try all of. Them. All right, bon appetit. I got my clams delivered. They look spectacular. He said it was a Portuguese special tea. Those look like they're so little. I know. They look so good. And Katie got, oh my gosh. Mm. That's a big spoon. You're going to be able to get that in your mouth? I'm not going to be able to eat the whole soup. All right, Kate and I made short work of our starters. And oh, now yeah. here comes the sea bass. And I think we're going to have it. Uh, thank you very much. Prepared, prepped, exactly. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. Yes. Okay, beautiful. That's a lot of sea bass. I'm glad we're splitting. Yeah. Thank you. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. You guys, we walked past the grill. the grill. Did, yeah, did I video the grill? I don't know if I did. We walked past it to get into the restaurant. But I'll show it to you on the way out if I remember. It's my turn to film, yay! Okay. So you should watch both of our vlogs though because you get it from different perspectives. This is our, what? <laughs> this is our crepe and it has vanilla ice cream oh, inside. Okay. Yes, jump in. Vanilla ice cream inside and whipped cream, which she called sweet, I think. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, that looks so, they're homemade. Oh, that looks so How can good. I like, maybe I should just eat it off the plate. Yeah. I think that we're gonna do that. I mean, it's the proper thing is to put on your own plate, but if we just have two forks, one plate, right. I think we're good. We're related. Yeah. Starting to get chilly too. Oh. No. <laughs> Whoops. That's really good. Really good? I'm very excited to eat this. Oh, it always smells so good in here. Just kidding, we'll probably see Oh, we walk into our... Oh, battery exhausted. I almost said we walked into our apartment. We just walked into our apartment and everything's apartment. all clean. It's so nice. What if I have a glass, a cup of tea? A cup of tea? What if I had a cup of tea? That's a good what idea. Done? What made you have today, Kate? My cup of tea. Excellent. That you haven't even had yet? Of all the things? <laughs> I can't believe I haven't done that yet. That's pretty good. It's from Enchanted. Oh, nice. You know what I'm talking about? No, because I only saw it once, I think. It's a good movie. All right. Oh, all right, you guys. What made me happy today <laughs> is the unplannedness of our day. 
and literally just, we would, it was like, like we said, it was like a scavenger hunt. We went somewhere and like did the activity and then said, okay, so what should we do next? And they told us, then we went to the next one. Okay, what should we do next? Then we went to the next one. It literally happened all day long. And the people that we met, we met some amazing, fun, great people. Mm -hmm. Our server at dinner, the tour guide at the winery, our bellhop, um, Katie well, met a great guy at the beach who like we met our bellhop before. Oh, look, our door's still open. Well, that's because I want anyone who wants to come in. <laughs> it's just, it's a party. Just come in and join us. Excellent. Because we just love everyone here. <laughs> we do. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow we have another amazing day in Portugal. We have some I things planned. I thought we were planned. leaving tomorrow. No. Seriously? Yeah. Why did you think that? I, don't, I just had this feeling we were leaving tomorrow. No, we went one other day. Maybe it's just because I'm like so totally feel like we've been here forever. I know. It's like, I feel like this is like, we've moved in. We've settled in. We're very comfortable here in yeah. Portugal. You can just leave me if you want. Okay. I was no business being home. <laughs> they got nothing going on. Mm -mm. Comment down below what made you guys happy today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll, we'll see you in another great day in Portugal tomorrow. Bye.